yo what's up guys welcome back to the channel and today we're gonna be talking about legendary game of reskins i mean uh legendary game of heroes and today we're gonna be talking about the new event that's coming out and it is gonna be a water slayer event so this right here is gonna be the free card that you can get and we're gonna start off with the cards right away i apologize for making this video a little late i usually updo upload the first day the packs come out and the event is going to start but i was really busy last night and i got home late from work and i just saw the cards i wasn't really impressed and i just called it a day i didn't go ahead and make it um this is going to be the free card that you can get from the pack and um so the deep War vortex uh dragon card he's going to be making um one water gem both now and for the next two turns plus one additional gem per 10 dragon intensity when tidal wave is active and tidal wave is going to be a battle skill and we'll go over that it also has a passive water pressure creates for uh, dragon intensity every turn okay and then we're going to go ahead and get into the card um stormbringer and he is going to be uh generating a dragon intensity for the next three turns um, increases water affinities bonus to fire by up to 40% scaled by the dragon intensity and powers up other storm at sea abilities. And I'm pretty sure when this gets to six star, it's going to be a three turn cooldown. And then for the ultra rare, this time is going to be Sailor's Bane. And this card um, is going to be doing a battle skill of attacking for 1250 percent plus an additional 25 percent of attack per dragon intensity so this has a passive deep rising when tidal wave is active creates one water gem at the beginning of each turn with a chance based on dragon intensity to also create a water power gem too so this you're gonna see that it's pretty chance based and here we go with the reskin card yono uh heaven storm this is going to be the 13x slayer and he's going to attack for 1750 uh, 1750 percent plus an additional 50 percent of attack per dragon intensity and then this has a passive gust when tidal wave is active creates one water gem at the beginning of each turn with a chance based on dragon intensity to also create a water gem tier four so the power gems are all going to be based on chance, depending on how much dragon intensity you have. And the main thing that this deck has going for it is that it's trying to be like um, cards like Flameheart, Frankenstein, the Panda. Not as much in power, but basically it's going for the attack where you hit the skill and it deals lots of damage. That's what they're going for with this deck. Um, personally, I don't think it's anything great. Um, I am going to be skipping this, um, event. I'm just really hoping that they don't drop the ball and don't release a water wisp pack. Cause that's the only thing I'm looking forward to. Um, we got another reskinned X13. Woohoo. Um, we got cards that do generate water gems but they're just regular water gems if that and it's not really power gems and the power gems just are based on chance so there's a lot of people in the community right now that pretty much think they these cards are shit and i completely agree with them and um basically everybody's just kind of waiting for someone to spend and see what the final damage outlook is going to be um don't expect anything great i'm not sure how far you can take these battle skills up but basically this deck you're gonna have to tank a lot of hits and uh, rack up a lot of dragon intensity to make it work for you so if you can wait it out until i don't know round 10 or something then maybe it might be worth it but right now as like for a deck that you can mvp with or just in general like i don't really see this as a viable deck maybe if you're facing a really hard um boss that has a lot of hp but we all know that's not going to be the case so unless they increase uh boss hp by a lot like guild bosses by a shitload i don't see this deck being ever worth it and i don't honestly think that you should be spending gems on it i think it's horrible they kind of dropped the ball on this one 
Um, not a lot of people in the community really know if um, it's going to be even a viable deck. So I personally think it's shit. Um, this is looking kind of like the, what's it called? They had that, the Earth event where the Song of the Wild event. And th this is another one. So far, they've been off to like a bumpy start for the year. You would have think with the new year, um, they would have released better packs with better skills and stuff like that. But this right here is nothing. Um, I don't think it's worth it. And I don't think you should be wasting your gems on it. Even if you say like, hey, I don't really have a good water affinity deck. I'm going to tell you to hold out. Wait until there is a water commander event and see what the skills and uh, battle skills look like and everything and see where they take it from there. Um, they are also advertising Keta's bow. You can enchant it. And I think it's, if I remember off the top of my head, it creates like a power gem. Let me see here. All relics which spawn water gems now spawn one additional water gem when at least one water affinity heroes on the team. Okay, so to add a powerful new skill so there's going to be a new skill to the um keta's bow and i guess it's going to spawn one more water gem or something i thought i read somewhere that they are going to be adding like a power tier gem to it but i guess not um but yeah this is just another global thing where we all just collect um ice vials until everybody collects collects a certain amount and then we finally you know unlock it which a lot of people have said that they have it rigged to where it's every day at reset, you unlock the next thing. It could be true. It's probably not true. Who knows? We don't really have that information, but I kind of agree with them. It's It can't be coincidence every time that we get the next step unlocked when it's reset or close to reset. Um, and the next event, you have your Dark Affinity Commanders. And yeah, that's about it. Pretty lackluster deck. I'm not really impressed with it. I think you should skip it. Um, that's really much all I have to say. Wait for another water deck to come out because this one I don't think it's going to be worth investing into. I'm really glad because I get to save my gems for the Water Wisp pack, which I hope drops. I'm praying it drops because if it doesn't, I don't see them making any money this week. I don't see anybody dropping gems on this pack. So that's my input. Um, that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys make good investments. And that's all for this video. Thank you guys for the love and support. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.